Hi there and welcome to the video. My name's Gareth. So let's make a smooth edge on a cutout and I'll show you how easy it can be in Photopea. So I'm going to create a very quick selection using the quick selection tool of this orange. So we're just going to click that. And after it's done its an image analysis, we're just going to click inside the orange and hopefully, yep, there we go. It's made a accurate looking selection around the outside of the orange, nice and quick. So I'm now going to create a layer mask. So I'm going to go down to the bottom right and click on the layer mask icon. And let's put it on a transparent background, which again, on initial glance, looks like a really nice cutout. But to show the truth of the cutout, or the truth of the quality, I'm going to create a colour fill from the adjustments menu. And I'm going to set that to black, click OK, and drag it below the orange layer. And this will really expose the true quality of the edge, which, as you can see now, is not very good. It's jagged, pixelated, and just not very professional looking. So there's a really unique way of dealing with this in Photopea, especially if you don't want to go to the Refine Edge tool and start using that, which I find extremely slow and cumbersome in Photopea. I'm not really a huge fan of it um, for simpler hard edge selections like this. It's um, overkill. So we're going to select the mask, and this is very important to make sure it is the mask that's selected and not the, not the actual image and go to the filter menu, go to noise and median. And what the median filter is going to do to this mask is smooth out the edge. So if I click on that, it takes a second to load. Another tip in photo P is if you find the controls like this really laggy and slow, uncheck the preview, then move the slider to a value that you want to try and then recheck the preview. So if I move this to about 15, around there, it doesn't matter. Check preview and then just look at the edge and see what it does to the edge. See, do you see how that smoothed out all those jagged edges? If I uncheck it and do a before and after, you can see how that median filter has, has really tidied that edge up. And if I go extreme with this, you'll see it'll actually smooth out some of the other natural larger bumps in the outside of the orange. So if I put this right up, if I just click somewhere high, higher on the scale and you look at the edge on 63, for example, as it landed, you see it's, it's, it's actually smoothed out even more, not only the small jagged bits, but the bumps and natural dips in the orange, which I'm not keen on on this particular one. I'd rather have a little bit more natural look to the orange shape. So I'm going to keep it in the 20s and click OK. So that might be all you need on your image to get a nice, smooth looking cutout. But there's one other thing we can do here. If you find that that edge is now smoother, but it's also very hard, which can sometimes look unnatural. See how you can still see little pixels on the edge. Um, but to be honest with you, unless you're zooming very close in, you're not going to really notice that. But there's a super easy way to fix it, which I'll show you now. And that is just again with the layer mask still selected go to your properties panel and if you don't have this on your screen you can access it by going to the window menu and going down and click on properties and it'll appear and make sure that the mask button is selected and all we're going to do now is increase the feather value which will just soften the edge slightly and just help to minimize the look of those pixelated edge don't go too far otherwise it'll look too soft and blurry Something like that'll be something like that'll be fine. Gives it a more natural edge. And if you're putting this into another shot, comping this in or just using it wherever, it's just gonna have a lot more natural edge. And that is the technique I would use on any hard edge object to really just dial in a nice smooth edge and get rid of all those nasty jaggies. <laughs> Thank you.